that we have a 1995 Holden Statesman stretched Commodore with a V6 3.8 litre engine. This thing has done nearly 340,000 kilometres. The only way it's kept going is regular oil changes. And that's what we're doing today. So underneath the van it. We drained the oil. But it was hot. And because it was hot, we've dropped the oil plate in the oil. We have to fish it out. So how are we going to do that? Magnetic probe in there somewhere. Fishing expedition. What's that? Here. Yeah. Gotcha. And important, a copper washer is still there. The trick with these, don't over tighten. No. Size around about that size. Super cheap container that high. Well, how's it going to get under there? Normally, it wouldn't. You would not be able to get that under the car. So we run it up on a couple of blocks of wood. Block of wood too high. Have a small bit first, then the next bit. Stable enough. Better than a jack. Cheaper than a hoist. Now, not a lot of acrobatics required, but this bit is. Right. Yeah, there's not too much of a mess on the ground. So, I'll offer up the bolt. Finger tight. You know, as I don't have those blue gloves, I probably should. Um, Why? Well, contamination is not good. Uh, but then again, looks don't matter much to me. I need to feel what I'm doing. I just nip that up. It's probably a. I'll just Get that oil. I'll get the rest later. Now I'll just check it one more time. Don't get on the end of the spanner. Just up here it'll do. Just that's it. That's nice and firm. Now, next thing, oil filter. Never do an oil change just by itself. Of course, your filter will contain old oil. So I need to get that off. Get it done. Well. What does the oil filter do? The oil filter, funnily enough, filters the oil. Hmm. And so you buy it in a box that says oil filter. Amazing. Well, Commodore, that's the right one. Z154. Z1. Beautiful. So down there somewhere is the old one. There's a couple of ways to take it off. But it's always a good idea to get this. Tray of underneath before you get going. I don't know, as you do this, it tightens up anti clockwise to undo almost everything. Might just come in from below. Yeah, it's right. See it? Yep. Okay, it's anti clockwise. So it wasn't on too tight, but it was tight enough. Too tight and you strip threads. Now, watch out. I'm going to drop a bit of more. Call that. Where that came off, we'll just give it a quick clean with a clean rag. Yep. That's. Well, at least I'm not so dirty, mate. And around we go. 
down there there's a, a seating flange at this point you don't want that to be really hot because you're going to burn yourself yes you're going to all the way up hot then you go and have lunch and while you're having lunch the oil the hot oil drains out nice and easy right when you get the new filter it has a dust cover on it. Take that off before you put the filter on. I have heard of people putting this on without taking it off first. It's not good. Right. Now, this is where your fingers come in handy. Because that little thread, you've got to find the male part of that to start it screwing on. You don't want to cross thread it. You've got to be very careful. The way to not cross thread these things is to go the wrong way. Until you feel a little click, that means you're on the start of the thread, then you can go the other way. Or you can grind around until you feel it binding up, either way, whatever works for you. But don't cross it, because it's going to cost you a lot of money to fix it. Right, oh, yeah. look at that, I've got it first time. Maybe it's the fact I've done this a hundred times, might have helped. I've got that all over the fingers. You notice this one is cream, the other one was black. No idea, it's just a bit of red. The thing is the same. This one. Now we're going to tighten it up. I'll put this on the other way. It looks the same, but it's reversed. Sorry. There we go. Else. I need to um, put the oil in. put that in. So it should hold about nearly five litres all up. So I reckon I'll put two and a half litres in. So the oil I'm using is the Shell Helix HX3. It's an older oil. Then again, it's an older car. Very wide heat range from 20 up to 50. 20 what? Well, that's the, the viscosity range 20 in the winter, 50 in the summer. Most modern cars have something like a, uh, a 5 to 30. No, I reckon that's about right. Can you explain Respects, that? You ready? Dipstick, yep. Which begs the question, why are people, some people, sometimes called a dipstick? Well, that's a dipstick. You'll just have to work it out. But looks why like you it's... actually refer to someone as a dipstick. Very uncomplimentary. A way of referring to anyone, but and there it is because that's what it's good for. Just telling you how deep the oil is, and it's deep enough. Cool. Okay, so I can get rid of that. Really good idea not to forget to put that back on. 